welcome to the channel i got a lot to show you guys man what a morning what a morning so we're gonna take a walk russell came back got the rest of the trees you're gonna see that but he did a lot more a lot more he really he saved me months months worth of work maybe even a year's in just a few hours and we're gonna take a walk but first what do you got to say you were barkety and all that earlier all right let's go walking guys first of all take a look out there what don't you see four big trees let's go take a look look at the burn pile that's gonna burn for weeks that's all the bad part of the trees so these were all we had the twin there that was probably 70 feet long and then we had that one there that one there and uh but look here he cut that old broken off stump for me hauled it over to the burn pile so that is gone let's go over this way he's gonna come back and get the tractor he did a lot of extra stuff that old dead pine that great big dead pine it's gone look at the view just with that gone and he even cut it up and hauled it to the burn pile all i got these little sticks to pick up and these cedar trees are gone we tried to get the stump out and he damaged his tractor because it's just mostly dirt but uh knock that old stump i've been messing with that thing for forever all right look at this Got these two cedars are gone couldn't get that one out now, tractors only do so much you know that some big stumps like that you need a bulldozer to get out or excavator but still got a lot of sticks hey man that's the easy part the hard part was getting the trees and that ain't all that ain't all it's kind of cloudy today guys so i hope the there was some few i cut down but that big oak log that was laying across right here it's gone what i did is i had him pick it up and he dumped it over and knocked that privet down but it, they're all up in there that's fine they'll rot over time i ain't gonna be able to do nothing with that part of the land anyway so man i am excited now i've got this clear and my plans were to build a little maybe a 10 by 12 little cabin right here build it on posts and i am not gonna cut these down but look at the view you know i've shown you this many times but now this log is gone now old oak log uh, it's very hard to cut through it was very heavy let's see what else that's pretty much it but that dead pine was a worry and he put it down right where it needed to go and uh, it's gone it's no longer a threat and over the course of time we're probably going to take out those cedars are damaged uh you're gonna probably take those as well but i'm other than that i'm gonna thin them a little bit but i'm not gonna go too crazy because i like the trees like that cedar that has to go that's all the, the tops off of it it's damaged and it's too close to the mothers and uh really wouldn't hurt my feelings to lose any of the pines but you know if they're healthy they stay and then we gotta, I gotta get this junk cleaned up but man i am happy those trees are all gone and, and the timing's perfect because i can still get in there and rake and everything and it's gonna be good now what my plans are for these little yahoos 
they are going to be well actually they are nine weeks old today so you know as much as i hate to have to get them spayed and neutered at, at three months old it's going to have to happen if they're going to go to minnesota you know they'll be fine yeah who's missing willie he's always whining about something that willie i know you guys probably got some fleas i can probably get you they're old enough now i can probably do something about that but i want to take once millie has her surgery monday like i said we're going to put her in here libby's old pen for three or four days so she recovers from that and then i'm taking this kennel and i'm going to bring this out to here and then puppies are going in here now i am going to go in there and take that uh cold weather thing i put on her, over her dog house uh i don't think she ever used it but uh and they'll have i'll probably put more barrels they'll be safe in here they're only going to be here another month at the most but that'll give them plenty of room uh nothing's ever the only thing that's ever happened when libby was in here is when that storm came and it blew the gate off of, of, of off of that but when i put the other kennel it's going to have a double gate which is good because i at night i can hike them over here and then i can clean up after them real good and then i can start working on my patio because this is the time of year you enjoy the patio and i can't enjoy it because the little hoodlums are in there right yeah i know they're all scratchy but uh then i can take that stuff off there get everything painted get my furniture back in there and have a place to have my morning coffee you know what i mean all right what boy let's check the garden while we're back here i don't see anything coming up uh, and, and it hasn't been really long enough and uh, there's something i'm pretty sure usually when things germinate they all look the same so i won't know yeah i know those are coming up because that's i remember planting them there yep so we got parsley coming up we got dill coming up and don't see that yep there's a basil coming up so they're germinating when they get big enough i'll put bark over there what are you doing and you got your your ground fur cut yeah i cut your ground fur today that's what dogs call grass in case you don't know dog ground fur at the ground fur cutting machine over there but they don't know what lawns are all right so over the next few weeks i'm gonna be doing a lot of raking man my abdomen's gotta be my chest out of muscles ought to be all the digging and raking i've been doing <sighs> be looking like that to arnold schwarzenegger here pretty soon all right guys this is just a short one just to show you what progress was made i do got plans for those posts as soon as this is removed and moved over there and uh once they're gone i'm getting rid of all of it and that's where i'm gonna be parking my mower i may extend that lean to out some more don't know thought about maybe putting chickens in there but i don't, don't i don't know there's possibilities but i can guarantee you one thing what's not going in there is another dog but they are kind of handy if uh one of them needs surgery or something but after she gets fixed you know i'll still have the kennel uh it, and i just lean it up against the, the shed and if it needs to be put up it only takes 15 minutes to put it up but man sure feels nice to have all them st storm trees and, and other trees now once all this stuff burn up we're good and that big pile boy that's gonna burn a while yep all right guys thought i'd show you i did not film anything when russell was here today uh because you know you seen the first part second part would have looked just the same only longer happy trails Do you know where you want to go to college yet, Willie? Uh, 
Look at you. You've been in that doghouse all morning. And that's probably the best place for you with the tractor going all over the place. Where's Millie? Who knows where Millie's at? She's over by her toy stash area. <laughs>